course, around this time, every Monday, we take a look at some of the stories relating to 2010. Um, and art is a common language able to open windows of understanding between foreign cultures and also unite people with no common experiences. It was from this premise then that the world soccer body FIFA licensed a South African company 2010 Fine Arts to produce and distribute fine art related to the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It is the first time in the eight-year history of the tournament that FIFA has granted a license of this nature. Joining us on the line now to discuss this project uh, is General Manager of 2010 Fine Arts. That's Rob Spall. Hello, Rob. Hi, Polani. How are you? I'm very well. Welcome to you, Rob. What does this license mean to you? Polani, the license is, as you said earlier, the first time in 80 years that FIFA has granted a fine art license for the World Cup. So what it means for us is another really proud South African first. It gives us an opportunity to use this fantastic global platform of the tournament to promote Africa and African visual arts to the rest of the world. But practically then, what are you doing about it? We've created two collections, the 2010 International Fine Art Collection and the 2010 African Fine Art Collection. Uh, in the international collection, we have artists from all 32 countries that will qualify to play in next year's tournament, producing works, and we'll be exhibiting those across the globe from April next year. In the African collection, we have African sculptors, photographers, uh, painters, ceramicists, and uh, you name it, they're part of the collection, who have contributed works that will be on display and available for acquisition here in South Africa during the World Cup. But does this uh, uh, collection follow any particular theme? Very much so. What we've asked all of the artists, whether they're international or from Africa, is to be inspired by three things. We've asked them to be inspired by the first African World Cup and obviously to be inspired by the spirit of Africa and then to also be inspired by the passion of the world's biggest sporting event and then thirdly to take inspiration from the national pride of their own country's participation in the World Cup. Uh, just wondering about the reaction though from uh, particularly South Africa and of course generally the continent itself. We've had really great support thus far. Um, I think that's been evidenced by the kind of artists who signed on to the project. We have, out of 160 artists in the international collection, we've already signed up over 80 of them, including artists of the caliber of Peter Phillips from England, Gustavo Rosa from Brazil, Charles Jang from South Korea, and then here from South Africa, our very own Esther Mishlangu, Safiso Kamkame, Zamane Makanya, and then in the African collection, some big names like Keith Calder, Isaac Sitoli from Mozambique, John Kilake from Tanzania, the list goes on. Uh, uh, now you're starting to exhibit internationally. With what end, though? What are you going to do after that? Well, there are two exhibition strategies, Polani. The first one is for the African collection, and that's already available for people here in South Africa to view and to acquire in all of the major centers through art galleries. But with the international collection, we'll be launching it officially in December during the FIFA final draw week activities here in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And what we're planning with that, it will be the single biggest, most ambitious international art collaboration ever in the sense that there will be 32 simultaneous exhibitions in the major art cities of the countries playing in the World Cup. Those art exhibitions will continue both from April right through to the final whistle of the World Cup. It sounds fantastic and quite a boost to the industry as well. We're, we really believe it's a fantastic opportunity for the industry and also a good way of helping generate excitement globally about the World Cup in South Africa. We've also just launched our official website, which is www.2010fineart.com, and any artists or galleries who perhaps might be interested in joining the project, we'd like to encourage them to visit the website. We're still assembling the collections. Do you have a plan for after the tournament? Will you be auctioning all the art, and uh, what, what are the plans? The plan is that the original artworks will be auctioned after the event, um, and the prints of the original artworks, because we're making limited edition signed prints, uh, particularly in the international collection, those we hope to retail before the end of the World Cup. Rob, it's a pleasure talking to you. Rob Spall, General Manager of 2010 Fine Arts, a company licensed by FIFA to produce art related to the 2010 World Cup tournament.